Hi everybody, my name's Lizzie. This is my horse Mira and welcome back to the Farmhouse Tap Barn Blog. Today we're going to be talking all about grooming. It's important to groom your horse for a few different reasons. One, it is a great chance for you to check and see if your horse has any cuts or injuries. It's also important that we make sure their coat is in good health and that there's no dirt where we're going to put the saddle. So first off, we want to make sure our horse is comfy in the cross ties or being tied. I dropped one side of our cross tie today just so you can get a better view. And then the first step is, is you want to grab a curry comb. This is a jelly scrubby. I really like these because they have a fine tooth side for sensitive horses and a more coarse size for less sensitive horses. You can also use these in the bath, which is awesome. And so at curry, you want to start at the top of your horse and work your way down. And you want to go in circular motions like this, like you're giving them a little massage. And what the curry comb does, it brings up all the loose mud and the hair and the dead skin cells to the top of the coat, the surface, so we can end up brushing it the rest of it away. Here we're all the way down their body to the back of their tail. You can curry their legs. You just want to be a little bit careful. Some horses are pretty sensitive on their legs and their face, um, which is why the fine tooth side works great. Um, a traditional curry comb is also awesome as well. So after you curry your entire horse, you want to get your stiff brush or your dandy brush, is what it's also called, and your brush over your entire horse again. So you want to put a little bit of muscle into this brush and everything, and you want to long strokes with a little flick at the end, and this is going to take all that dirt and dust and hair that you brought up from the curry comb, and it's going to bring it off the coat. You're going to start at their top of their head, and you're going to work all the way down, brushing all that off. Then the next step is to take your soft brush. So the soft brush is also called the finishing brush. And what it does is it takes off that last little speckles of dust and everything and helps bring out the shine in your horse's coat. So again, you're gonna start at the top of their neck and you're gonna flick down. This one you can use short little flicks like that and it's just gonna bring off those last touches of dirt and hair and help bring out a shine in your horse's coat. <laughs> This brush is also appropriate to use on the face and the legs because it's softer, so it's not going to hurt their delicate skin there. So then you want to make sure that you pick out their hooves with a hoof pick to make sure there's no rock or mud or debris in their feet that's going to cause them discomfort. If your horse wears shoes, this is also a great time to check and make sure their shoes are on nice and tight. So I'm going to start up at her shoulder, let her know I'm there, run my hand down the leg, just above the phallic, I'm going to give a little pinch, and she's going to pick up her foot for me. And I'm going to hold it just like this, and then I'm going to pick out through the bars of her feet, and making sure there's no rocks or stones or anything like that. I'm going to be careful not to poke too hard in the frog because a lot of horses are pretty sensitive there. And then once it's all clean, I'm going to gently set it back down like that. The back legs can be a little bit tricky when you're starting out. So if you need some help, don't be afraid to ask um, a more experienced horse person to help you. Um, always want to make sure you're standing to their side, not behind them, just in case you were to get kicked. And I like to stand pretty close to them. So if they cow kick, they can't get much momentum behind that. Again, let them know I'm here. Give them a little rub, run down my hand, down their hindquarters, down their leg. Right feet. Oh, Mira's very good. She knows to pick up her feet. And then let her relax into it. And then I'm just gonna get all that mud and grass out again. Just like that. And then carefully, she likes to hold her foot up for a second. And then she's gonna put it down herself. Just like that. Next, you wanna brush out their tail. Um, making sure that you don't stand directly behind the horse. You want to stand off to the side so you don't get kicked. Um, you always want to spray a detangler of some sort in the tail because we don't want to pull out the snarls without any because they're going to rip out half her tail. So I just like to spray a generous amount all the way through the tail. Get my tail brush and then starting at the bottom of her tail, I'm going to run my brush through it working my way up the tail. If I encounter more snarls, I'm gonna spray more detangler in it. 
because I don't want to rip out her tail. I want it to be nice and full. And then I'm gonna brush the top of her tail. Just like that. For the mane, you'll need a mane brush and you wanna make sure that you don't put any detangler in their mane because it's gonna to be too slick if you need to pull it or braid it. And I like to start at the bottom and work my way up or you can start at the top and work your way down. You're just gonna brush through it gently. If there's some snags, you can work your fingers through it a little bit. Just like that. And then to finish off, you can take a towel and clean around their muzzle and eyes just to make sure that you've got the last little bits of dust. And then your horse is all clean, you're ready to tack up, and then you're ready to ride. As always, guys, if you have any questions, please drop them below in the comments and let me know some of your own grooming tips. All right, see y'all next time. Bye.